Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Tuesday, June 29th. It's almost July, which is crazy. But I wanted to hop on here real quick to show you some clearance yarn that I got at Michael's um, Sunday <laughs> and some popsicle cozies that I made for my sister. I wanted to share them now because I probably won't have them when I do a No Catchy Name episode. Jesse's in the living room playing. The mowers are outside mowing and my air keeps kicking on because it's hot. So lots of noises. <laughs> but um, I'll show you the yarn, the um, cozies first. So I've used uh, Lily Sugar and Cream cotton yarn and it's called American Stripes and I used an elf hook. So I made some of these for my sister a couple years ago and then she told me the other day that hers were wearing out and that they needed some new ones. So um, I just made her four. Here they are. <laughs> They're multicolor. Okay, anyways, so I made four of them, and what I did is I used the elf hook and the cotton yarn. I chained 11, and then I single crocheted back and forth um, 16 rows, so it was like a long piece. <laughs> and then I folded it over, and I just uh, slip stitched it together on the end, uh, you know, it's nothing fancy. But uh, I made her four of those, and I do have some of the yarn left this much. So I'll probably go ahead and use up this to make more just for us to have here, or if she wants a couple more. Um, but I'm pretty sure I'll give these to her before I make another No Catch Name episode. So I wanted to share them with you guys. They're really quick and simple. I made all four of them, like, you know, in one setting. <laughs> and uh, she likes them. Her son uses them. We have some here that Jesse uses too that I, I made years ago. <laughs> but yeah, so those are my popsicle cozies that I made. And now for the clearance yarn that I got, we went to Brentwood, Tennessee um, on Sunday. Devin wanted to go to Guitar Center. And there was Michael's right beside it. <laughs> so I walked down to it and looked at the yarn. They had some on clearance. Uh, not a whole lot, but they did have some of these Echo Brights by Loops and Thread. It's limited edition recycled yarn. It's made from 100% polyester that was recycled. And they're normally $7.99. Right there. But they were on clearance for $2.43 or something like that. I can't remember exactly. They were 70% off. And um, this is the only color they had multiple balls of. They had a bunch of really pretty colors I would love to have had multiple balls of, but they were all just single. But they had six of this color, so I did get all six of them. <laughs> I don't know if I could pick them all up at one time. Ooh, see, six of them. Never had this yarn before. I've seen other people haul it, and I wanted to check it out. So, and it was so cheap. I got all six of these, and with taxes, it was like fifteen eighty, I think, is what it came to. And they have... It says it's number five bulky, but um, it's definitely not. <laughs> it's thin. Like, I wouldn't even call this a four. It's more like a really light four. <laughs> but I guess because it's kind of fuzzy. And uh, let's see here. It's 255 yards each, so there's 1,500 yards here. And it's supposed to be hand washed, but I'll probably run it through the washer and see what happens because <laughs> that's usually how I do. Um, and, yeah. It's 5.3 ounces, made from recycled polyester. It's pretty cool. The color is aqua. It's like a mint color. I liked it a lot. It's really soft. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to make with it. It'd make a good blanket, I guess, but I mean, it's 1,500 yards. It can make a lot of things. So, um, we'll see what I make with it, but I just really liked it, and I wanted to give it a try. They had a hot pink color I would have loved to have had a bunch of, but they only had one ball of it. They had an orange and a green, I think a yellow, a couple other colors. But this is the only one that they had a bunch of. <laughs> so I got all of them. At first I got two. And then I was looking at it and I was like, well, I'll get two more. So I had four. And then I was like, well, I'll just go ahead and get the last two. <laughs> so I ended up with all six of them in my buggy. And they had a couple other yarns on clearance. But uh, it wasn't yarns I was interested in. So I just left them. But I don't typically like Michaels for buying yarn. Because they don't really have a lot. All the Michaels around me don't have much. And the prices aren't that good. Like they don't have good sales, I don't think. Uh, I prefer Hobby Lobby and Joann's for yarn. <laughs> but, um... It was there, so I went ahead and just went to it and checked it out. So I'm glad I did because I got this nice yarn that I've been wanting to try. I've seen other people get it, and uh, now I got enough to make something with. <laughs> and uh, it's a pretty color. I like it. So that's what I got. And they were two, I think two forty three each or something like that. <laughs> so I was happy. It was really cheap because it's normally eight dollars. So my neighbor kid's playing. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what I got at Michaels on clearance, and then my popsicle cozies, cozies, whatever you call them, for those long juice popsicles you put in the fr freezer and then they freeze. I don't know what those are called. Uh, just popsicles. <laughs> but um, we eat a lot of those around here. They're really nice. 
But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and I will see you guys in another video hopefully soon. And let me know if you got any cool um, Michaels clearance deals or if you've used this yarn before, what'd you make with it? <laughs> it feels really soft. It'd be good for wearable things or like baby things maybe. I don't know. Because the cleaning, it says to hand wash, so I don't know if I don't want a baby <laughs> on um. a hand wash thing. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.